Welcome to my quarantine Aldi haul. Today I'm gonna to share with you two weeks worth of Instacart deliveries from Aldi. We're gonna dig into some of the core items that I stock up on and maintain within this quarantine status. So let's dig into some of my Aldi finds and some staples that I always purchase. Welcome back friends. I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I'm a naturopathic physician and I am staying at home with my family. My family and I are going on nine weeks in staying at home, social distancing and social isolation. It's really hard to say that. But today I'm gonna to share with you some of the core items that I shop for via Instacart that maintain my stockpile of healthy items that I feed my family and I. There's two adults and a four and a half year old. I'm also gonna share with you some of my Aldi finds. One of the things, if you're a regular viewer of mine or if you watch my Natural Health News live show, you know I love Aldi hauls and I miss Aldi shopping. And so one of the adventures, one of the highlights of my week are Wednesdays. That's when our Aldi gets stocked with items. That's when Aldi rolls out their new week of sales and Aldi finds and special savings. And it's always a highlight because that's when I Instacart my Aldi. So I'm gonna share with you a total of two weeks of items that I have shopped via my Instacart shopper. And I'm pleased to share that my Aldi shoppers are also Aldi haulers. So this is really exciting. And this video is dedicated to all of the frontline essential workers delivering groceries, checking people out, bagging people's items. I and my community are grateful for your efforts and keeping us healthy and safe. So thank you, salute, and let's dig into my Aldi haul. So here is my Aldi haul. This is a culmination of two weeks of Aldi haul shopping with my shoppers from Instacart. Okay, so some of the staples that we added to our shopping adventure are items like organic light brown sugar and Morena pure cane sugar. We're actually baking more cookies at home and I was running low on both of those items. Also, jasmine rice was really hard to find in the first few weeks of Instacart Aldi hauling and I was really excited when that finally came available. This is a five pound bag and we love the jasmine rice. It just has such a nice scent and flavor. So one of the challenges right now during the pandemic is that ground beef or any type of processed meat is going to be slightly more challenging to find. One of the things that I have been doing every time I have an Aldi haul, which isn't always weekly, but it's been a little bit more weekly recently, I add the organic ground beef or sometimes chicken or turkey and more recently we added some ground lamb. Many of you know our family, we minimally eat meat, but because of the meltdown in the processing plants with COVID-19, there is going to be a supply chain challenge. And already on this week's Aldi haul, we could not get ground beef. So this was, uh, these are two items I purchased last week and I only buy two at a time but we have a chest freezer and I am I'm building a little bit of a stockpile because this is a big staple that we have if we do eat meat. These are all the finds this week. I am so excited. I love Indian food. So we're gonna try these, they call them mini naan panadas and they have the butter chicken and this was a chickpea curry. So I added one of these each to our order. This was actually from last week's order, I had wanted something different, but we, we got this instead. And so we're gonna try the soybean spaghetti. I actually have never tried that. The one item that we do often try and my son loves is the edamame spaghetti. Big staples in our household are the uh, pestos, the Priano pestos. And Brian's at home now and he eats tuna almost all every day. So that skipjack is something that I've been ordering for Brian. 
These dark chocolate morsels, I was running a little low and Gabriel said he wanted to make some dark chocolate uh, chip brownies today. So I had to add that to our order today. We ran out because of Taco Tuesday and Cinco de Mayo. I ran out of whole wheat tortillas. The last haul was the last time that I had these and they grabbed the fit and active. At the heart of my Aldi hauls now are going to be staples like fruit and vegetables that I'm running low on. And I'm really excited that our shopper got green bananas because this will take these a few days, maybe even to Monday to ripen. And that way we will consume all of our bananas that we currently have. I think we're down to two. And then these were have been hard to find. I have waited a few weeks to get the spaghetti squash. I ordered frozen sweet peas because we add those to a lot of the pasta dishes. And then avocado is always something on tap. I will chat with them via the chat in Instacart and ask them to grab a whole bunch of green ones. So that way I can preserve the avocado so we have an avocado basically available every day. And the one thing I wanna do note uh, back to the avocados is these were 79 cents. So avocados right now are okay on pricing, but I, I'm expecting that we might see those prices increase a little bit. I ordered some grape tomatoes because that was the only organic option they had. I'm running low on my tomatoes. I, I love eating Mediterranean for lunch. So I'll usually have tomatoes, avocado, and over greens. And then I'll also add in some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. Okay, over here, I added a few additional items. I needed the Priano four cheese Alfredo. Brian only can eat white or green like pesto sauce. So that if we do have the edamame spaghetti, that's what I mix up. I decided to grab some panko breadcrumbs because I did not have any in my cabinet and I have ordered and have in my freezer some chicken and I wanted to bread them with that. This is my favorite find. This is an Aldi find. They're organic fruit punch and coconut water packs. Gabriel is obsessed with these and we are playing outside a lot. We had a few really hot days recently. Those are a fantastic find. A core staple are my coconut oil and also I ordered some evaporated milk. I plan on making a special dish with that. Then Brian used all my apple cider vinegar on a marinade that he had. So that is my food stock up here. And then because it's Mother's Day, we uh, don't we don't have access to the store. So we're not going in, in stores. And so I got some cards for the mothers in our lives and all the women that we love. We also have some uh, local graduates here. And you know, our grads are having a really tough time. 2020, they've all looked for, they worked really hard to graduating high school. So we've got one of our neighbors uh, that, and then we have another family friend. Uh, we got some cards for them. And then you guys, this is the exciting part. So we have Mother's Day that we're celebrating this weekend. And you guys know I love my coffee mugs, tea mugs. This was the Mama Bear mug. She's so cute. It was cute. I didn't realize it came with um, a little bit of hot chocolate and marshmallows. I might not have that, but I love that it came, came with a spoon. And they have those little packets. They're $9.99. This is from last week. They had a midi skirt um, and it's super soft. And I figured, oh, like, I'll be wearing this a lot in the garden. And then this was also a, a fine. This was definitely a must have. I woke up and put my order in as soon as Wednesday hit. This is this really super soft material. So I ordered one for myself, purple. I'll be wearing this uh, on Mother's Day. And on one of the Sundays when we have our live show, I usually wear a robe on Sundays. I will be wearing the purple robe, really cute. We have a um, family member who's in a nursing home. And so I ordered this for her. And I was really excited. They have these cute ballerina slippers and you know, they're kind of house slippers. They're padded and then they've got really good backing. So I ordered this set for her. Um, her name's Sarah. She's in um, an assisted living facility, um, extremely independent, but she's in lockdown mode. And I thought this might brighten her day if she got a really cute matching set. So she's in quarantine mode. And you know what friends, little things like this really help. 
uh, bring a smile and sunshine to people's faces, especially when we have um, our older members of our families um, and loved ones are, are stuck. So, you know, soft ballerina slippers. These are the ones that I got for me to match the purple robe. How cute is that? So I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with super soft. Look how soft that is. And these, I wear these out quite a bit. Um, and these are my inside slippers. So super cute. Now, some other fun things that they had for Mother's Day were their uh, essential oil packs. This is their rest and relax. I'm really excited to, diff to diffuse this. You guys know I have a diffuser that I use that's a plug-in, so I'll be testing this out. They have a beauty sleep, they have lemongrass, and then they have the wind down. The wind down actually smells pretty darn fantastic. This week, I was really excited. They had a double wall stainless steel bottle this is very much on uh, our brand color, so I just couldn't resist this item. And then they had these metallic markers and the unicorn coloring books. I've highlighted a little bit about the stress relief that you get from coloring. Oh my gosh, friends, this is so cool. So these markers are really neat. As a little girl, I was obsessed with unicorns. As an adult, I'm even more obsessed because now they're everywhere. So this is one of those doodle pads that is great for adults and children. Coloring is very stress relieving. It's very meditative and it comes in this cute little pack and makes a really great gift. So I'm going to be sending our family member one of these. I guess you can probably guess which one I'm keeping, that one. Um, but that will go in her, her packet of items that I'm getting out later today. So that's my haul, friends. I'm very excited to share these items. It's a little bit of a smaller haul. And remember, this is two weeks worth of Instacart Aldi hauls. Some of the items that I received last week, we've already consumed. Like we had apples on our list. I have a few more left. I didn't need to order any, um, but definitely the tomatoes were running low. I've really been wanting to have a spaghetti squash for a particular uh, dish where I add a whole bunch of stuff inside the squash. And then the last um, of the ground beef uh, was from last week. So if you guys, our Instacarting, and let's say you can't find something, like for instance, this fruit punch and coconut water was not on the app. And so I took a picture of that and I added it as a special item. So one of the things, if you don't see items in uh, on the app that you wanna buy, then you can add that as a special item. And I also, every week, I reference the new item. So they have their shopping sales for their food products. And then they also have the Aldi finds. And so I've been watching what is coming out the, the next week. Usually I grab those on my way out of the store. So I know what I'm kind of zeroing in on that I wanna get or have. And so these are items also that, for instance, the robes were on the app, but then the slippers weren't. And so one of the things that I really deploy with Instacart is the chat messaging and also adding the special item request. And um, good shoppers will take pictures for you of the aisle, they'll communicate with you about what they, they can't find. Um, and I really appreciate that. That's when you know you've got a really good shopper and we add on um, extra for our tip. And then when they drop off, we have uh, sanitizing spray that they can take, snacks, masks, and things like that. So as you're preparing your Aldi hauls or any of your grocery shopping hauls, what you wanna do is you wanna check out the sale um, ad for the week, um, identify, write down your list, and then when you go to the app, if you can't find those, and maybe you have, so for instance, like if sweet peas aren't on there and I already have some, I would take a picture of the sweet peas with my phone and add that as a special order item and attach the picture. You can also attach the picture in the chat. And that was really helpful. Like for instance, this skirt, this I really wanted, they had black and they had this kind of periwinkle purple. They didn't have that. But she said, they've got this color. And I said, okay, awesome, let's take it. And she even said, this is so soft, you're really gonna like it. And she was really helping me figure out what I wanted to buy. And 
While some of the items are essential, these Aldi finds make me happy. And so for any of you who are like, that's not essential, I totally understand that. But one of the joys that I have always found at Aldi is leafing through all of these great items and they're so inexpensive. And I do know that these slippers and this particular super soft robe is going to make one of our family members who's in total lockdown and quarantine mode happy. And so that is so worth it. And I told the shopper that she was helping me shop for one of our loved ones in a nursing home. So that's my haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it. This is quite a unique setting for us with the state of the pandemic and staying at home. But I am so grateful to our shoppers at Instacart because they are so fantastic and we've had some fun. So I wanna extend tons of gratitude to all the essential workers shopping for all of us who are staying at home and trying to be safe and well. I appreciate you and I know all of our viewers do as well. Friends, if you enjoyed this Aldi haul, please comment down below and I'm going to pick one of you to win a lucky Aldi keychain, the quarter keychain. So when we actually get back to shopping in the stores, you can keep your little quarter in the keychain and they're super cute. So I'll pick one lucky winner who will comment down below within the first 24 hours of this video posting. I hope you'll tune in for my natural health news live show every morning, 9 a.m. I share with you coronavirus, COVID-19 news updates, as well as natural health resources to keep you and your family safe during this time. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on our next video.